It's a regular meeting of the Sussex County Board of Chosen Freeholders on Wednesday, December 27th. 2017, 9 a.m. Uh, the meeting is called to order. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? I'd be more than happy to. Freeholder Kraft. Here. Freeholder Graham. Here. Freeholder Patillo. Here. Freeholder Rose. Present. Freeholder Director Lazaro. Here. Please uh, take a moment of silence and salute the flag. We praise and thank you, O Lord, for the blessings of this year. We thank you for your wisdom and your guidance. We ask that you will continue to provide us with that wisdom and guidance as we move forward to the challenges that meet us in the new year. In his name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pursuant to the Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, PL 1975, adequate notice is defined by Section 3D of Chapter 231, PL 1975, has been made by regular mail. Such notice being submitted on January 3rd, 2017, from the Administrative Center of the County of Sussex, located at 1 Spring Street, Newton, New Jersey, to the following, the New Jersey Herald, WSUS Radio, the New Jersey Sunday Herald, WNNJ Radio, and the Star Ledger is also posted on the bulletin board, maintained in the Administrative Center for Public Announcements, and has been submitted to the Sussex County Clerk in compliance with said act. Can I have a motion to approve the agenda? I make that motion. A motion to approve the agenda? I'd like to uh, make an amendment to the agenda. I have a motion for amendment of the agenda by Mr. Graham. Free okay. Graham. I'd like to, I don't know where she should win, probably just under uh, resolutions. resolutions. Resolutions Financial. That would be appointment. I would be uh, a board of contract. Board of contract. Yeah. Uh, 15? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to. Uh, 14, 14, 14 B. 14 B. To there. 14 B. Uh, 14 B. Make 14 B. I'd like to add a uh, resolution regarding authorizing a professional services agreement with Skylands Risk Management Incorporated for Risk Management Consulting Services pursuant to NJSA 40A colon 11-51AI for the calendar year January the 1st, 2018 through December the 31st, 2018 in an amount not to exceed $135, uh, $135,000. Make sure you don't put $135 in the figure. Um, so that would be 14 big? Yep. Okay. Um, excuse me. Um, Jonathan made the motion to amend, to approve the agenda. Don't we need a second to approve it before we amend it? I'll second and then make a motion on the agenda. Okay. okay. And then we need a second to your... A second for the motion. Okay. I second for the uh, amendment. All in favor of the amendment. Uh, uh, as, uh, all in favor of the agenda as amended. Do you roll no. no, we need to roll vote. Aye. Aye. Opposed? One abstention. Okay. Now yeah, back. We don't have any proclamations or certificates. No public hearings. Public session from the floor. We open the public session from the floor. A motion. Make that motion. I have a motion by Freeholder uh, Rose. Second. And a second by Freeholder Graham. I may have missed it, but did you do the public statement? Did you read the public statement? Right oh, public statement? You did public statement. Yes. Oh, okay. You weren't paying attention. I guess I was. <laughs> <laughs> So we have a motion for public session on the floor. Anybody else want to talk? Good, I have a motion to close. Second. And a motion to close. No, motion to close. Oh, I'll take a follow motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Second, second free order rose. Yes. Is there a discussion? All in favor? Aye. Public session is called. Free order comments? Yeah. Free order, free order crab. No comments. No comments. Ten, ten years went by fast. <laughs> <laughs> Patillo? 
Yeah, I have no comment, but I would like to wish everybody a very happy new year. What's coming up? Fielder Graham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fielder Rose. <laughs> On December 18th, we held a budget hearing. Uh, Freeholder Graham was there, Administrator Pop, as well as the uh, the CFO and the finance team. Uh, the main changes this year to the budget are we're moving the motor pool out of operating expenses, moving sick and severance pay out of salary and wage lines, and we're moving diesel uh, fuel and, and, and gasoline fuel purchases into their own line items. Solar debt payments are, are slated we would discuss where they need to, to fall. There's some ongoing discussion with that. Uh, right now, the preliminary, which is the request from all the all the uh, um, all the units, but without us making any cuts yet, uh, shows a 4.491 million increase. That equates to a 4.35 percent total budget. Again, I want to uh, stress that that's without us looking through and making any cuts. That's the request. Uh, the levy. 2017 was about 90 million, 2.2% 2 .2 over 2017 uh, would be a 1.8 million. So we're uh, you know, over that by uh, 2.5 million, 2.7 million. Uh, we've discussed sa salary breakage in particular, how that relates to the prosecutor and county clerk. And we've discussed the security at this building. Uh, and and there, in addition to that, there's ongoing discussions about uh, where this budget needs to fall in. Mr. Poff is working on it when we'll come back to us uh, with some options early in 2018. That's it, Mr. Gray. Mr. Gray, I have a comment on, on that. Um, that budget's not going to go up that number. And I, I, it's, it's just not going to. The biggest concerns and the biggest struggles that we have are, uh, are health care. Health care is what, what was a big struggle last year, and it's, a, it's even more of a struggle this year. Um, we have a, a levy that's approximately on the $84 million, $85 million? Somebody knows me. No, $90. $90 million is our levy. $24 million, $24 million is what is paid for health care premiums for the employees and retirees of Sussex County. So of $90 million, we have to come up with over $24 million just for that one line item. It's an unsustainable number. It is absolutely unsustainable. We have to make some radical changes in how we approach health care. We have to make radical changes in the way that everybody approaches health care. It cannot go on this way. Um, I know that everybody who, who works for the county and everybody who's retired from the county, their health care is the most, probably the most valuable thing that they have. We're not looking to try and take away health care. What we are trying to do, though, is, is put it into a manageable number. And uh, I know that I'm, I'm speaking for myself, not for other freeholders and on this board, but we have to do something different. We have to cap the numbers. We cannot allow certain individuals to have health care numbers that are just so dramatically higher than everybody else's. Uh, we have people in here that we have uh, health care premiums that may run 15,000 or more, and we have others that, that run 40,000 or more. Individuals. These are numbers that we can't do. Um, it's not fair. It's not fair that people have uh, uh, changes in their health care, but it's also not fair that elderly people have to leave their homes because they have to pay more taxes because they have to increase the health care benefit. It's a national problem, no question about it. It's a state problem. It's a local problem. But right now it's a county problem, and we have to deal with it. It has to be dealt with this year, and I think we have to make some radical changes. I hope that uh, those of us that are on the board next year are willing to take that on because if we don't take that on, all we're going to be doing is kicking a very, very big can down the road and it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be something that we're going to be able to deal with next year. Uh, on, the, on solar, make no doubts about it. We're paying over $2 million a year in tax income. Two, over $2 million. I think last year it was up to $2.4 million to pay off the solar and that is with revenues coming in from the solar. This is another thing that just rides on us for the next eight to 10 years. So as people become distressed about the fact that we have to deal with taxes as they are, and people say that we have to cut that taxes, 
Um, I think that things have to be remembered that um, that uh, we have to be strong. So that's, I guess I'm speaking more to the freeholder board than I am to anyone out there. Thank you. Um, I'm in, in, in concurrence with uh, Mr. Graham's comments. Uh, a lot of the responsibility of uh, our health situation lays squarely in the hands of the Department of Insurance in the state of New Jersey, who has made uh, uh, health insurance a political game. Uh, it wasn't until recently that I found out that Sussex and Morris counties have been singled out not to be able to write certain plans, uh, while other parts of the state are allowed to write certain plans that are uh, less expensive and uh, uh, more coverages. Uh, and that lays uh, squarely in the hands of the Department of Insurance because they forced that decision on the insurance companies. Uh, one of the things that most employees uh, don't understand is that health insurance has a dollar value. Uh, everybody says, I come and I work at such and such a place and I get paid X number of dollars a year plus benefits. Well, that plus benefits raises your salary by 100% in many cases. Uh, sometimes at least 50%, 75%. So if you're making sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 a year and you tack another 25000 on that, uh, that doesn't count. Well, it does count. It's a dollar value, and it's a dollar that goes on there and so that makes your salary is now eighty five, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 a year. Uh, but I don't see that in my pocket. No, you don't. But for years, many of us paid for our health insurance, and now all of a sudden we've gotten to the point in life where we figure that health insurance is a right. It is not a right. It is a cost. It is a benefit that's provided by the employer because the employer wants to provide it. And the employer can cut it off at any time the employer wants to. Uh, it's not something that's automatic and everybody expects it to be there and then and wants it to be there. And hence the move to move toward, toward universal health care. And universal health care will be a disaster because there's no way we can afford it. Obamacare is a disaster. There's no way anybody can afford it. And you know, you're taking a six to twelve thousand dollar deductible for your family, you might not as well might well as not have it at all. But if you're poor, you can get it for a hundred dollars a month, and you have wonderful health care. All of a sudden, somebody else is picking up the tab for it. So not only are you paying for your own, but you're paying for somebody else's. There are a variety of ways to handle that, but this is not the time and place to do it. However. Uh, as a county, as, as an entity that has to be responsible to the taxpayer, we cannot <coughs> sustain this kind of growth in health care. What the Blue Cross took a 30% increase this year. 30% uh, increase in our budget is a disaster. There's no way we can sustain that. And it will be more next year. And it builds on itself as each year goes on. So we will have to address that along with uh, the other things that we're stuck with, uh, we will have to address them in the future, and that's going to be the biggest challenge to maintain a budget that's, just, that's affordable uh, for the residents of the county <coughs> and that we, can, that we can maintain and still function to provide certain services. Um, I, I, I got a couple complaints because the roads weren't cleared fast enough. You know, they're not going to be cleared fast enough anymore. Uh, there's no need for people to go out at 3 and 4 in the morning. They can go out at 5 and 6. That's two, three hours of overtime that gets saved. And, and you know what? When you get to the Morris County borderline or the Warren County borderline, you can't go anyplace. So you drive around Sussex County in a circle because we get cleared quicker. Well, that's money down there. That's money that's spent <coughs> on the teams. So if we can save some money there, I'm in favor of saving it stay home and have another cup of coffee and, and then <coughs> uh, these are the kinds of things if you, if you want to maintain a budget and you want to keep the increases down there's going to have to be some some cuts and some shortages in services across the board uh, and that's going to happen and we have to adjust to that the, the good times are not rolling and just because the economy is doing better doesn't mean we can spend more it means that we can pay back some debt and pay off something more uh, that's where I where I stand with it. Uh, this is my last meeting as director. I want to thank all of you for a marvelous year. I've tried to keep things a little lighter. 
less exciting than they have been in the past. Uh, I appreciate everybody's support. I enjoyed working with all of you, and thank you very much for being there. And, and Jonathan, thank you for keeping me on the straight and narrow all the way through. <laughs> Uh, it's been fun. I've enjoyed doing this. I've enjoyed being here. Uh, and most of all, I've enjoyed working with this team. It's a great team. I think it's a fantastic team. Uh, we all have some different points of view, but we all work together and we've all come up with good solutions for everything that we've done. I can't think of a bad move being made yet. Uh, I'm sure somebody else will, but that's okay. Uh, thank you all very much. And uh, we move on into the new year. Um, and deal with the new challenges as successfully as we have so far in the past. That's it for me. Can I have a, uh, approval of the consent agenda? So moved. Second. A motion by Freeholder Patillo, a second by Freeholder Graham. Uh, is there discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, we're supposed to go roll. We'll call roll after I read the agenda. Uh, resolution re amendment to resolution number 1869978 dated 9-13-17 approving participation with the state of New Jersey in a state and local law enforcement assistance program administered by the Department of Law and Public Safety Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assisting Grant Program for the period of July 1st, 2017 to June 30th, 2018 in the amount of $54,363. Uh, Board of Chosen Freeholders of the County of Sussex has reviewed this consent agenda consisting of various proposed resolutions, determined that the adoption of the said resolution is in and will further the public interest. Do I have a motion for that resolution? Make a motion. A motion by Freeholder Graham. Is there a second? Second. A second by Freeholder Patillo. Is there a discussion? Call the roll, please. Freeholder Kraft? Yes. Freeholder Graham? Yes. Freeholder Patillo? Yes. Freeholder Rose? Yes. Freeholder Director Lazaro. Yes. Approval of minutes of the regular meeting of December 13, 2017. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Freeholder Patillo, second by Freeholder Graham. Is there discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. I have a motion for the approval of the minutes of the executive session of December 13, 2017. I'll motion. Motion <coughs> by Freeholder Graham. Is there a second? Second. Second by Freeholder and Patillo. Is there discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Do you have any appointments or resignations? Okay. Any resolutions? No. Boards of contracts and change orders or bids? Can I ask that we take that separately so that we, because I don't know if the yes. member has to abstain? Yes. Okay. Uh, resolution A, the renewal of a contract with Delta Dental Plan of New Jersey, Inc. for dental insurance coverage for County of Sussex employees effective January 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2019. This is self-explanatory. Is there a motion? I make a motion. Motion by Freeholder Graham. Is there a second? Second, second by Freeholder Patillo. Is there discussion? Freeholder Kraft? Yes. Freeholder Graham? Yes. Freeholder Patillo? Yes. Freeholder Rose? Yes. Freeholder Director Lazaro? Yes. A motion and resolution authorizing the professional services agreement with Skylands Risk Management Inc. for risk management consulting services pursuant to NJSA 40A colon 11-51AI through the calendar year January 1st, 2018 through December 31st, 2018 in an amount not to exceed $135,000. Is there a motion? I have a motion by Freeholder Graham. Is there a second? Second. Second by Freeholder Patillo. Is there discussion? Seeing none, call the roll, please. Freeholder Kraft? Yes. Freeholder Graham? Yes. Freeholder Patillo? Yes. Freeholder Rose? Upstand. Freeholder Director Lazaro? Yes. Carl, just go back to resolution A. I just caught this now. Are we sure it goes to 19 and not to 18? Oh, that's a good question. That's 24 months. Oh, okay. it's 24 months earlier. Yeah, I should have asked them. Okay. Sorry, I should have mentioned that, but I didn't. Uh, resolution read the payment of bills A. Motion to pay the bills. Motion by Freeholder Crabs. Is there a second? Second, Freeholder Patillo. Is there a discussion? Call the roll, please. Freeholder Crab. Yes. Freeholder Graham. Abstain. Freeholder um, Patillo. Yes. 
Freeholder Rose. Abstaining. Freeholder Director Lazaro. Yes. Resolution repayment of bills B. A motion by Freeholder Grant. A freeholder Grant. Second. Grant. Second. Second by Freeholder Patillo. Is there discussion? All roll, please. Freeholder Kraft. Yes. Freeholder Graham. Yes. Freeholder Patillo. Yes. Freeholder Rose. Yes. Freeholder Director Lazaro. Yes. Resolution C, rescinding resolution dated November 21st, 2017, providing for the insertion of any special item of revenue in the 2017 <coughs> budget for the County of Sussex relating to the 2017-18 Stop Violence Against Women Act, VAWA, letter of agreement for a total amount of $9,977 uh, for the grant period 516-17 through 515-18. Sub award number VAWA 48 50. I have a motion. So moved. Motion by Freeholder Patillo. Is there a second? Second. Second, Freeholder Grant. Is there a discussion? Did, was there a, something about the, the award was pulled or I don't know too much about this one? Is there a reason why they. They, uh, they said, can I say something? Sure. They said the dollar amount. They had to fix the dollar amount. They, okay, okay. The, 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 okay. The I'm re accepting it. Yeah. Okay. Are you doing it separately? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll have them all together. Uh, resolution providing for the canceling of various grant fund receivables and reserves that exist on the balance sheet of the current budget. Resolution E. Resolution providing for the insertion of any special item of revenue in the 2017 budget of the County of Sussex relating to the 2017-18 Stop Violence Against Women Act. VAWA letter of agreement for a total amount of $7,483 for the grant period 516-17 through 515-18, sub award number VAWA 4815. That's a correction of the one that we just uh, uh, canceled out. Resolution read the transfer of 2017 current appropriations. Is there discussion? Do I have to amend my, my motion? No, to motion. Bring everything in? Yeah, well. I'll amend my yeah, motion for A, for, for A through F. All right. A motion, a motion or C through, through F. F. Resolution yeah. of A, C through F. Yes. Second. Second. Second by Fiora Patillo. Is there a discussion? <coughs> so we're voting on C, D, E, and F. Call roll. Yes. Freeholder Graham? Yes. Freeholder Patillo? Yes. Freeholder Rose? Yes. Freeholder Director Lazaro? Yes. Personnel, do we have any? Uh, nothing. Okay, thank you. Administrative report. I'd just like to wish everybody a very uh, happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. Wow. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hope each and every one of us has one. Yeah, me too. Do you want to get specific? No, I, I think about the whole broad brush. Yeah, just, yeah, just let it take stand. You're going to take us all out for dinner and tell us about it? <laughs> you insist? Well, <laughs> it's a tradition, didn't we tell you that? <laughs> I, I, I hope you like McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, County Council? Yes, thank you, uh, for Freeholder Director. Two items. One, I gave you all a copy of a November 19th memorandum uh, to the board regarding the distribution of the 1603 grant proceeds yes. towards the solar debt. So if there are no questions or modifications, uh, the treasurer is ready to proceed as Can, indicated. I, I'd like to just uh, uh, have a discussion on that. Um, not here, but just something where we go over these numbers and we can take a look at the charts of where the numbers are. Because I see these numbers, but I'd like to see the other side of the balance sheet on this. Just as we go up in the next next week, this coming week. I don't I don't understand. So we'll hold off or make just hold off today. Let's have a discussion about this because I just would like to see the bigger picture. I know I understand what I see here, but I'd still like to see the bigger picture. Okay, you'll have to give us directions okay. what that means and we'll proceed. Okay. I don't know, treasurer's here, I don't know if there was any compelling reason with regard to the solar program uh, that was a year end issue where anything had to be done by year end, that may be a concern. I think I don't, it was I think, I think plenty of time. Is there, any, is there anything specific, Rob, you know? No. Okay, all right, good, we've got time. Just okay. let us know and we'll Thank you. move forward. 
Okay, the other thing is just an update on a, a um, reported after administration, the Association of County Council meeting that was on Halloween um, about a, a, a lo lengthy and in-depth discussion there on the opiate litigation um, that really had me um, discouraged as to the viability of us participating in it. I just wanted to update you and say at that point that was regarding some of the class action litigation that's moving forward and the gist of the conversation was the cost and the resources and the time and the, the time for the county um, um, social services department or the jail to participate are significant in relation to the uh, recovery that you might expect being farther back in line in class action litigation. Contrary to class action, Administrator Pop and I met recently with a law firm that, that reached out to us and we had a, a conversation with, which is very different. It's actually proceeding in the opiate litigation where the law firm is your client. It's a contingency basis type case and you are the only client. You're not one of the herd in class action. And uh, it's intriguing. It's uh, probably something that's worth exploring both with respect to this firm and some other ones that have reached out to us. So I'll be updating you on that as we go into the next year. We have some time and it's uh, certainly something that's worth considering and keeping the board involved and in educating them more on and maybe even bringing some of these uh, people in to talk to you all and give you a more in-depth presentation. Thank you. Yeah, this is an interesting firm that's had some uh, considerable success in other areas in uh, recovering funds that can be used for I guess treatment and rehabilitation or whatever uh, are some of the responsibilities that uh, are involved in this whole addiction thing. Uh, so that's an interesting concept and I, I, I personally prefer to handle it on a county-wide basis rather than be part of the whole statewide thing where everybody gets $10 when it's all done and the lawyers make millions. Do it anyway. Well, not the way this one's set up, it's a lesser, but it's an interesting concept. Okay, any unfinished business? Any new business? At this point in time in history, then we have a motion to move into executive session. So moved. All right. We're going to do the reminders first, yeah. and we can just. Yeah. Uh, January 1st, 2018, New Year's Day, we are closed. January 4th is a reorg meeting at the Sussex County uh, Historical Courthouse. January 10th is a regular freeholder meeting in the freeholder meeting room. Um, we have a motion to uh, provide for an executive closed session, not open to the public in accordance with the provisions of NJSA 10 cold 4 12 at SAC. I've read this multiple times. Uh, we all understand what it is. So I'd like to have a motion by, I have a motion by Prevo Patel to enter into executive session to discuss matters related to employment relationships and this will be re 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 revolving around personnel interviews with the clerk. Uh, be it further resolved that the deliberations conducted in closed session may be disclosed to the public upon determination of the Sussex County Board of Chosen Freeholders or provided by law that the public interest will no longer be served by such confidentiality. Be it further resolved that upon completion of the business for which the board has entered into the executive session, the board shall reconvene and resume its meeting open to the public. Or issued by Freeholder of Patilla, do I have a second? Freeholder Director also, there'll be no action taken today, right? Possibly. Okay, there may be action. There may or may not be. I okay, no. that's fine. We just have to announce okay. it. Do I have a second for Freeholder Patilla? Second. Second by Freeholder Grant. That's your discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion is carried. We are moving into executive session. We can stay here.